Hi there, this is Malorian, and now we're on to the fourth game of the Out of the Basement Tournament, and I need to kind of keep the pace. I mean, I have now two Massacre wins, one loss, so I'm in a good position. I'm now on table two, so that's still pretty good. Um, you know, as far as trying to get all the extra little uh, list of Valors, I'm doing okay there, but I need to pick these up. But hey, I'm winning more than I'm losing so far. I'm still up there, and this day here is now the second day, so I brought my daughter with me because I was going to be away the entire weekend. I want to spend some time with her, so it's going to be nice to have like a little good luck charm there and all this stuff. But what this mission is now is one where the terrain on either side is going to be going on fire and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's not so bad for me because for a guy with monsters flying around, <clears throat> fire, it's not going to really going to hurt me that much. The one thing that will be difficult is I'm going to be up against a fairly solid opponent. It's a guy that is very used to playing Wood Elves, but now he's doing Empire. And uh, he's been doing fairly well with it. So it's going to be a, a kind of a test. It has more cannons than before. It has Carl Franz. So uh, I heard he can kill monsters pretty easy with his little hammer there. So let's see what happens. All right, so here you can see the full deployment after the vanguards. Uh, that big piece of terrain in the center, we're actually going to say that massive thing is a big piece of impassable. You can't go in the middle or anything like that, which really forces you to the outside. And with this mission, that can be a big deal because the way it works is that starting turn two, it goes out D3 inches each time, and it just keeps on adding. And whenever it hits, it's like being hit by a fireball. So like I said, for my dragons and stuff, I don't really care about that. For the monsters... But the Reavers, they're going to have to sneak through first before they get burned alive, really. Uh, for him and his army, he's going to have those flagellants there on the left, then a cannon, a good-sized block of great swords, and then there he has a witch hunter. Uh, then he's going to have a hell blaster, and he's going to be having a um, master engineer, or whatever it is, a big block of swordsmen. And this is, a, this is an awesome army. Uh, this is the one that I voted for best uh, painted because really there's so many small details in here you went into, so many conversions, and it's just a little thing where, you know, it's not just painting on shading, it's like adding in little extra painted details like spotting and stuff on the horse or whatever and uh, then going and like doing the shading on that too, right? So it's just really awesome to see and hopefully a lot of these pictures work out. But in that swordsman block, there's Carl Franz with the hammer. So I do not want to go to that block whatsoever. Uh, it also is going to have a, of course, warrior priest, his level four, his BSB. So really kind of a, a like a Death Star type thing. Then he has a detachment of halberdiers and another cannon. So really small condensed army. And really what I'm hoping to do is, like before, just move up with my archers, shoot off that hell blaster, uh, charge into the cannons, take him off, and then just dance around for the win, pretty much. Um, but, you know, this is a guy where he has a background with wood elves. He's really strong with the movement phase and angles and stuff like that. So I'm sure he's not going to make it easy for me. And here's a close-up, although it's a little bit blurry, of this main unit. And you can see here, like, with the unit filler and all the different stuff in there, it's just really cool to see. Uh, otherwise, after his first turn, he doesn't really get much done. I mean, his main block is moving up, so is the Hell Blaster, because he knows it's out of range. Um, his great swords are going right towards that impassable, because he has a sneaky little trick here, where because the Witch Hunter has the whole snipe type thing, he is able to sh send out uh, sniping, killing blow fireballs, at my Archmage, but between him having some bad luck with the artillery and me stopping his magic, you know, I, I let him buff up his swordsman all he wants. Uh, I just really worry about the stuff that'll hurt me. And I believe he went with Laura Beast here as well. 
Uh, this is my first turn. Sorry again for these stupid blurry pictures. But really what happened here is that I'm really going all out trying to get in there. I know I can't hold back because I, I, got, I got two cannons this time and I got to take these things out. So I do all my shooting into the Hellblaster and I just can't do it. I don't get the numbers. I leave one guy alive. Uh, with my magic I'm able to do, you know, at least get one spell off. So I'm able to go and uh, go and, well, sorry snipe out the fireball ring from the witch hunter so that's not a worry anymore and now i have the good ward save on my arc mage but really now that hell is going to shoot that's bad news but uh if nothing else hopefully i can quickly get in there after uh then he shoots <laughs> with his hell blaster kills my noble does a uh, wound to my uh, griffin here so that hurts but hey you know at least it didn't kill me right and at the end of his turn, it looks like this. So really, for the most part, not too bad. I, I got really lucky again. I couldn't believe this luck. He shoots a cannon at my moon dragon, right? Hits me, hits both parts. Now, because of this spell, I have a 6-plus ward on the moon dragon, and I make it. That was so lucky. Uh, made a 3-plus on the Archmage. So pretty much that cannonball did nothing. Uh, the other cannonball, I believe, either didn't make it to me or I passed my uh, ward save on a phoenix and again like he just did not get much done on his turn so you know where he's had two turns of shooting with cannons I could have easily lost a lot of stuff already so I'm feeling pretty good at this point on my turn I'm really just here to now just really go after him. Uh, I wanted the eagle to go after the hell blaster, but like I said, the way he had it positioned, there's no way that eagle could actually get in there. So what I had to do instead is I decided to just go and decimate these great swords because they're really the only thing protecting his flank, and then I can do whatever I want. So the two phoenix are up there to deal with the uh, flagellants and then go after the cannon. Um, I go in and I send out both my breath weapons into the great swords, really, you know, cutting them down to like maybe a third of what they were. Um, I did get off the one spell, which I believe is another one that was just hurting him. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I do have the three plus ward again. And one thing that sucks is that my shooting into that hell blaster still couldn't take off that last damn wound. So, ugh, I just. Sometimes you don't get the sixes, right? Uh, otherwise, it looks like I'm going to be showing my flank to the fire dragon, but the eagle is actually there to redirect. And over here, I just fly over my griffin so he can try going after that cannon. Until, of course, it's his turn, and I get hit, and it's hit with a fireball, does like six hits, and it kills my griffin. So that was pretty crap, but, uh, you know, this is it happens. It happens, and we laughed about it. It was good. Uh, otherwise, he goes into my Phoenix with his Flagellants, and, you know, I'm not worried about this combat. He's going to hold me up for a while, but I'm going to win this one eventually. And then this was a kind of a neat trick he was going for. He charges me with his main block, counter charges with the detachment. And what this is going to do, and I could see it already, is that obviously this is overkill for an eagle, right? But what he's hoping to do then is send the detachment overrunning all the way into the fire dragon. It's a long shot, but hey, it's something he can do. And yeah, this, this hurt because what he wanted to do was shoot his cannon at the fire dragon because he's trying to save the hell blaster. Well, I said, there's no real way you can shoot at the, the dragon because you can't have it intentionally hitting your own guys. You can't see that point between me and the other block. So what he did instead is shot the moon dragon, hit it, of course, did all the wound. I saved my three plus, but he does a six wounds that kill the moon dragon. So, uh, this is not a good spot for my archmage to be. And then <laughs> he shoots me with the hell blaster, and I mean, like he's shooting through the unit. It's going to be heavy, uh, hard cover or whatever. You know, I have my three plus ward, but I just fail my wards and I die. So again, my my mage leaving me earlier than I would have thought and uh, down a monster. So over here, the eagle dies, and he gets it. I can't remember if he needed an 8 or a 9, but he rolls high enough, gets to my fire dragon, and uh, I'm already starting to see the writing on the wall that 
this isn't going so well. My real hope here is that I lose, break, and then fly away and like hop over the impassable, but there's actually not a good chance it'll really be beating me. Uh, over here, yeah, look at this. More bad wounds. <laughs> okay, he's fighting a freaking phoenix, right? Well, you'd think I'd be pretty awesome and I'd be able to kill his guys and all this fun stuff. Well, he, he kills some of his own guys, of course, and that was nice. Uh, and then I whiffed everything. I just whiffed. Could not hit the guy. Thunderstomp did like next to nothing or maybe even just killed me and uh, kills a phoenix. So, yeah, this, oh, bad luck. It happens. It happens. So overall then, on uh, the end of a turn, it really looks like this. You know, it could have been worse. Maybe those uh, flagellants could have overrun into my reavers. But for the most part, it's going bad. So on my turn, I go into the cannon with the phoenix and I kill it. Uh, I'm beating these halberdiers and I kind of go and I move back over with my uh, reform because I'm putting more guys in combat and it makes it so that Carl Franz has a harder time sneaking in there. But look at these. These halberdiers are actually wounding me. You know, I got this dragon with the 3 plus armor and 2 plus armor on the, the other dude. But yeah, he's just beating me up. So otherwise, the Reavers are backing up. I finally was able to destroy the Hellblaster. So there's I'm starting to get some points. But really at this point, I've lost so much that I'm hoping just to kill off a few more units and run away and go for the tie maybe. Or at least try and keep it underneath a, you know, not a massacre. So on his turn, he shoots the Phoenix, leaves it with one wound, and what he does here is he turns around the unit uh, the, of Swordsman, saying that if I charge in there and I fail, he's going to be able to counter charge. And that's a long charge. I think I need like a 10 or something. So otherwise, uh, the Flagellants charge my Reavers, I flee, I get away, his great swords turn to look at my dragon. In the combat there, look, I'm almost dead. These freaking guys are kicking my butt. So it's just, what can you do? Uh, luckily, his magic hasn't been too effective, but yeah. So on my turn, I get the long charge, and I get into the cannon, so that was pretty lucky. Uh, over here, I do some, you know, fireballs and, like, shooting and stuff, and I'm killing off these uh, guys here, you know. Tr hopefully, now these guys, the, the great swords are so small, I can get those points. And then when it's all said and done here, I'm with all my shooting and all that stuff, I'm able to kill all the great swords. That gets lots of points. I kill a cannon. I go off the board. I beat the halberdiers, and I don't overrun because I don't want to get near that flaming little forest because now I'm down to one wound and one wound, and I want to be threatening him a little bit with this dragon. So on his turn, again, like I said, this guy is good with the movement phase. So when I come back on with the Phoenix, I cannot march. So I'll be like you see me here, and I can go 10 inches. And he has it set up so that no matter where I go with that 10 inches, he'll be able to see me. So now I have to decide what I'm going to do with this guy before he dies. Uh, over here, yeah, yeah. I come over here to, to go do like fireballs and stuff to this unit of flagellants trying to get these points. I miscast. I do a strength like a template to myself. Kill both the rider and the dragon. So all of a sudden the idea of a tie is down the, out of the shitter. Yeah, this game. And otherwise, yeah, he's just kind of like charging, catching reavers. Bad things are happening. Oh, sorry, no, he didn't charge the Reavers. I'm getting this out of order there. He, the, the death of the dragon panicked the Reavers. That's what happened there. Anyway, over here, I decide that what I could have done is gone in here and actually gone sideways and tried to take a character with me. But at this point, I'm really hoping to make it so it's not a massacre, so I can't even do that trade-off. So what I do is I go to the very back there and make it so it'll be the longest charge possible. It, he needs like a six to get in there, but hey, he might fail it. And on his turn, the dice turn around, and luckily he does fail the charge. So that really helped. And over here, he charged my Reavers that had, you know, gone right in front of him, and he caught him, getting him a bunch more points. And at the end of the day, I try, like, maybe I can shoot the hell out of the 
halberdiers, or sorry, the, the flagellants here and get those points, but it just didn't happen. I needed to get really good rolls, did not happen. And I also tried to charge him with the spearmen, failed the charge. It was a long bomb anyway. So <laughs> this is the one good point of the whole game where my daughter was there and she had a lot of fun. Um, it was a thing where I thought maybe she'd be standing up watching and cheering me on and trying to help me. But it was actually funny where she was actually there almost cheering against me. Because, of course, as my things die, that gives her more toys to play with on the side. So kind of funny how that worked out. And, you know, it was just really nice to have my daughter there. So there you have it. Ugh. When we added it all up, you know, it was really close. But by three points, he got a massacre win. So very disappointing. Uh, definitely I'm on a downward trend here. And it was just one of these games where, to be fair, he had some bad luck. In that very first two turns, he did nothing with his cannons. And so that was really lucky for me. But after those two turns, wow, it was just... Everything falling apart, you know. If it wasn't for his halberdiers just doing tons of wounds to my dragon, I wouldn't have had it so that I would have died from the miscast. His <laughs> flagellants kicking the butt of my uh, phoenix, and by the way, they didn't beat me and run me down. They actually just killed me outright. Just bam, you got nothing, sucka. So it was just, <laughs> and then the fire killing my griffin, and it's just the overrun, yeah. There's just so many things in this game. It's like, really? Really? <laughs> but it's just, you know what? The nice thing about this is that even though it was really bad, it was nice because I was there with my daughter. It was nice to see her there playing. The guy I was playing is a really nice guy. Uh, also, at the end, like, I vote for this guy for being best painted and as well as best sport. Like, it, it really was a fun game. And one of these things where, like, you roll this, like, really? The, the hell bastard just killed her shooting through hardcover with a three plus war? We're like, ah, and all this stuff. So it was a fun game, but obviously not what I needed. I'll be going down pretty far off the tables. But hey, I got one more game to try and redeem myself. So let's see what happens. Bye.